week we move into a very strange area of extrasensory deception. And um, to take part in what must only be termed an experiment, I've invited a lady from the audience, and I've never met her, so I don't even know her name, so I'm going to ask it. What's your name? Wendy. Wendy. Okay, Wendy, I'll tell you what, what it is. You've got five pens in front of you, as I have here, okay? And we've got um, a chart. Could you hold your chart like this? Just round, turn it round so the audience can see it. And it's got all different symbols on, all right? Mm -hmm. And the, those symbols have been mixed up in many colours. And we've also got um, a pad each, yes? And the pads have got nothing on them. Would you just hold your pad up and just flick through it like this so that people can see there's nothing on the pads at all? Good. And then you put it back down in front of you. Now, we've also got these things, which are wooden covers. Don't try to pick yours up, but Debbie will pick it up for you. And when it goes on the front like that, I want you to pick up your piece of cardboard and just put it to one side. That's with all the symbols on, so you can get at it easily. But as you can see, I now can't see into your desk and you can't see into mine. Now, on top of that, we put a screen in, the, in between us, and then we try to get into a situation of two minds with but a single thought. Now, I know it's strange for me to be looking over here, so you'll just have to bear with us for a moment. You obviously realise no one can see what Wendy is going to be up to. Can you hear me? Yes. A bit louder? Yes. Good, because I couldn't hear you. Now, what I want you to do is draw a cross in the middle of the page that's in front of you, the top page, with any colour you like. I'll do the same thing on the middle of the page, and then put the top back on the pen, because if you don't, they dry up, and you pop the pen back. OK? And you tell me when you've done that. Ready. Good. Now, you take your top page and just fold it up and over and back under itself, under the pad, because we're going to take um, a step further. Now, what I want you to do is take a pen, any colour you like, and I want you to draw a circle in the middle of the paper about the size of a tenpenny piece. I'll do the same thing, OK? And then put the top back on the pen and return it and say, yes, Paul. Yes, Paul. Now take a, another pen and draw a circle round the outside of that, about, ooh, I don't know, about half an inch round the outside of that, you know? When you're ready, I say yes. Yes. Now take another pen and draw again round the outside of that. Okay? All right? Okay. Now then, turn that page over on itself and back underneath. Now take the chart with all the symbols on it, and once you've got that chart, I want you to look carefully at it. I want you to get one of the symbols fixed in your mind. Look around the chart, make your mind up, and tell me I've got, I've got one, OK? I've got one. OK. What I want you to do is draw the outside of the symbol first in the colour of the symbol. So, for example, if you've drawn a circle, you would draw that circle in the right colour, whatever you choose, OK? Now, once you've drawn the outside, put the top back on the pen, pop the pen back, and then draw the interior of the, uh, the symbol, the interior symbol, OK? So that's what you do. Now, put the top back on the pen and put the pen back. Have you done that? Yes. Good. Now, take any other colour pen you like, and once you've done that, uh, draw a frame around the outside. Just draw a square around the outside, OK? Have you done that? Right. Good. Now, fold your paper over, back all normal, so that you're looking at the X again on the top of the pad, and turn the whole pad face down. Have you done that? Yes. Good. Now we take the frames off. There's nothing in here, as you can see, and uh, we get rid of that because I won't need that again. Now, what I want you to do is we're just going to slide the pads here to the middle. I've only got one pad, as you can see. There's nothing else here. And I'm going to show you mine First, this is what I drew. I drew a black X, OK? Would you just pick your pad up and hold it next to mine here so the people at home can see? You drew a, an X as well, both in black. Not only that, can we just see what I drew next was a blue circle and then a red circle and then a blue circle. I realise that the colours on the television sets at home might vary a little because of the way things are transmitted, but you're here to check that and so is our live audience. And that's true, isn't it? Yeah? And, of course, you had a choice of any one of those symbols and equally to put a frame around um, the symbol in any colour. I'll tell you what I did first. Don't show me yours just yet. I did a blue heart, a black circle and a red square. What did you do? You did a blue heart, 
a black circle and a red square. Okay? So there you go, you deciding home. Is it perception or is it deception?